Hello everyone, how are we doing? Welcome to this stream. Let me turn that music down for we'll deafen by it. There we go. Let's go live. Hello, how are we doing everyone? Hope you can see me alright and it's all working. We've changed a few things around. So the stream setup might sound a bit different. Uh, I might use my voice quickly for this quickly check. Can't hear myself yet. When do I start talking? Hello everyone. There we go, I sound fine. Do let me know if there's any sound settings off, etc. or anything that looks a bit weird. I've been updating my stream setup, hence you just saw the stinger there, which I've been using a couple of times now. Um, but it's pretty interesting. So today we're playing Joy Universe and continuing on with it. It's going to be pretty fun. Uh, a bit of a short stream tonight, but we've got a few things planned. One is we are testing out the shuttle behind us. So myself and Time are going to be flying with the collector ship, which one of our org members has left for us at Sanctuary 12 Marketplace. Which isn't too far away, it's just down there. So you can see we're going to go all the way over there and hopefully retrieve the ship and see what it's about. So uh, keep an eye out for that. But hello everyone, I hope you're all having fun joining me tonight. How are we all doing? Uh, I got here on time today. Hello, yes. Don't worry, if you do miss a stream, we'll be available on YouTube afterwards so you can watch it there. Uh, so yeah. Uh, let's remember company policy. If something goes wrong with crashes, it's a crowd of bash. Unfortunately, we're not in games. We can't blame either of them. Uh, but I'm pretty sure we can find someone to blame. Um, we'll, we'll blame one of your members, but never know. It'll be fine. I'm sure we can find someone to blame if, if stuff really does go badly. My first question is to all of you. Who watched the Frontier teaser last night? And who enjoyed it and is excited for the next series? Do let me know in the chat what you think while I quickly post an announcement saying we're live. While I have hiccups, because I just drunk tea really too fast. Oh, the depressing side of life. We're live, uh, live on YouTube. I need to get a streaming role set up for uh, Discord. Live on YouTube with some hashtag dual universe. Come watch us attempt flying a shuttlecraft. It's likely, <laughs> likely going to crash, <laughs> but will be fun anyway. Watch that here. We're doing that here. That way it doesn't bug you all. There you go. Uh, I did, it was epic. I'm glad you enjoyed it. It was very fun to be honest. I, I'm like really, I'm glad people are liking it uh, because it was, yeah, it took a while putting that teaser together. So I, I'm really glad people have actually enjoyed it because yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's nice to have it out as well because Frontier has been something which I've been working on for quite a while now. So having it out in the open and people being able to explore it was awesome. But yeah, welcome back to Joy Universe. We're back here. You may have seen some things have changed since we last came around. Uh, I think since I last streamed, some things have changed. I can't remember. Uh, we moved this over here. But I, did I stream here last weekend? I can't remember. Was I live on YouTube last weekend? I honestly can't remember if I was. Have you seen The Mandalorian? Yes, I have. Let's try not to do any spoilers in chat, though. Or let's say The Mandalorian episode this week. Fantastic. And also, um, also the Star Trek Discovery episode. Fantastic as well. I'm seeing a, co a lot of comments going, why did one person say mum? It's not saying that it's ma'am, which is how you address a female Hello officer. Or how, how some female officers like to be addressed. Uh, Halo 2 does it where a lieutenant addresses Miranda Keys as ma'am, like ma'am, the archipod, spun down to zero, etc. So it's just a different way of uh, you know, talking to a female officer. I know in Star Trek, uh, Janeway liked being addressed as sir, or only ma'am in a crunch, I believe it was, so stuff like that. So it's just something to consider. That's where we're doing it. Uh, Ian's here. What's going on? So the actual HQ's upgraded a bit, so I can come show you this in a minute. Uh, while waiting for time to get over here, because he's currently on his way back to Brava HQ. Now, uh, Chris has been hard at work in upgrading the dance floor, which now has lasers on it, if I had my HUD a minute. We've got lasers down here. There's a full bar still. I'm loving this. Chris put a lot of hard work into this. There's, you know, booths over here as well. There's also, um, like, plants in here. I'm not sure what's going on in there. Uh, there's also, like, an executive section over here. If I open this up, there's, like, a VIP lounge, which is some artwork in it, which is very nice. So, private lounge. We've also got private dining over here as well. Look at this. So, the captain or, you know, the admiral would like to do some dining, etc. It's very nice. So, yeah. Uh, you can do Twitch. Nope, we're just live on YouTube tonight. I will sometimes stream on Twitch. I'm planning on streaming on Twitch as we go into December a bit more. Uh, I'm setting up like a community Minecraft server for me and my friends. Word community shouldn't apply to that. Uh, so I might be streaming some stuff on there. But oh my god, so we've got a racing sim in here. Okay, cool. What have we got here? Let's, yeah. Pac Man. That, that's, that's Space Invader, so it's not Pac Man. Jesus, that's Pac Man. Uh, what was this? This just shows you how old I am, or how young I am, I should say. I don't know what game this is. That's not Space That's Space Invaders. That's Pac Man. What game's that? Is that Galaga? I don't think it is. What else we got around here? I'm going to show a street bar. I don't know. I don't know these games. Is this... <laughs> it's one of the dancing games, for God's sakes. Right, uh, we've also upgraded some offices and stuff downstairs, so I can show you them now. Also, that music's now getting really loud. Hopefully you can still hear me. Uh, what have we got? We've got uh, Admiral Time. His office is here. It's looking right. We've also got my executive office. Ta-da! I think I'm the only office with lights in it currently. And the CIC is in here as well. We need to get some auto doors on. Uh, Ian's also got an office now, so I hop down here. He's got like the closet office, which is in here. But he's got a great poster, 
is looking really nice. Some Ardybrow ships there out protecting a planet, I believe. I'm not sure if it's Alley off or something. I don't know. Hi, what a miss. You've not missed much. We're currently uh, going just journeying around. Oh, he's got the actual post here. So Ian actually had this propaganda poster made for himself. And it's like, they're just stand strong, stand together. Join the Navy. So I love it. He's got Ben's office. So prepared now. We're not going to go rooting around for his stuff. That man's playing Gallagher. Exactly. Exactly. Jack, have you had Greg's yet? No, I haven't. Um, no, I don't tend to go to Greg's. I very rare. There's actually another bakery I tend to go to around here. It's more like a local one. Um, so I, I prefer supporting a local one, it's usually. Depends what I'm into. It's like, usually I go for parties quite a lot, um, which way, in which case I'll go to a local bakery, which doesn't. They're sometimes open or closed, or I'll go to the Cornish bakery as they do the best. Greg's aren't much to write home about in that regards. In my opinion, I know some people do. Kraz's also got his office in here. Not entirely sure what's going on. It's just floating blocks. But he's got a nice view of his landing pad. Up until I was going to move it around, so yeah, that's in here now. I need to flesh up my office. You do, you need to add some lights to it as well. I'm going to go back upstairs in a minute because I need to go to the roof. Okay, Greg, I don't like Greg. What's the FPS? I will tell you in two seconds. Let me go to the ceiling, right? If I bring my HUD back online and I do up 12, uh, I don't think my thing will work for this. The games actually have like an inbuilt. Um, inbuilt thing. So the trouble is, um, because of the way I run Dual Universe, my Shadow Play won't capture it. I don't know if this currently, but I'm feeling this is easily above 30. It may look a bit laggy. Uh, that's because I'm stuck in a laggish area. It's more simulation speed. If the FPS holds fine. Uh, it's more a lot of contracts can bring down how well the game works, etc. So it's something to take into account. Let me just lower the volume a sec for that music. There we go. That's a bit better. Now I can hear clearly. Uh, let's get time as well. Hello, time. How are you? I'm very good. Are you yourself? Yeah, not too bad. I'm just going to turn you down. There we go. Oh, I'm a bit loud. <laughs> yes, you are. Whereabouts are you in the system currently? Uh, currently, we just completed our warp bump sanctuary. We are currently coming into the atmosphere. Oh, fantastic. Um, so, we should be there um, oh, momentarily. Uh, awesome, yes. I am also with uh, Darius, who's currently piloting this on one of our new Star Hawks. Oh, very nice. So, Do you want to pop down? Uh, sure. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, I need to go ask fuel in it because I believe we're uh, uh, space fuel. Space fuel items, yeah. Ah, shift. I believe what we're going to pick up needed like certain amounts of fuel, so I'll take some of it. Okay, yeah, I'll stop up too. Yeah, it's a chance to do too much weight because then we're going to bog down the shuttle, so we may not be <laughs> flying any longer. <laughs> Uh, do you think pretty cool? Do you is pretty cool. It's got a long way to go, uh, like many games at the minute. But the concept and the idea of DU is here. I'm just really enjoying it because there's a lot of stuff you can do in it. Obviously, you have got other games like Starbase and various other things, etc. So you know, it's uh, you don't like Greg's? No, I didn't say I don't like Greg's. I just said I don't typically go to. It. I prefer to go to a local bakery instead. Yeah, as I say, it looks a choppy at times, but I guess it's understandable. So many players. Yeah, exactly. Like I know when I did the expo, uh, it was looking a bit choppy there, but that's for understandable, etc. Uh, yeah, Owen doesn't even have an office. So yeah. God damn it, uh, you need to get yourself an office. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. He can be kept outside. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's, he's one, just designate one of the landing pads. <laughs> it's his office. He's got a storage closet downstairs. That's, that's you. Yeah, you go there. <laughs> God, I still remember Neo's office, the forest. Oh, yeah, he's got the uh, window. I, I should show it quickly while, uh, while we wait for you to land. If I head downstairs, mm. Neo has uh, now got a window in it. Oh, it's got a window in it? Well, it's a fake window. Oh, it's real like, fake he's window. He's a screenshot of the like wall behind, or the other land behind him, and he's put that <laughs> on screens. So you've just got that there. I think that's a fucking genius, to be honest. <laughs> Can't wait for someone to make a Death Star. Somebody is actually making a Death Star on uh, Alioth, I believe, and you can go and see it. Like it's, you can't miss it, really. You can't miss a Death Star. Somebody's actually making it somewhere. If I knew where it was, I'd go check it out at some point. Maybe we can do it for a video. Uh, I'll have one of our Dip Plants reach out. Thanks for more mm. Universe. No worries. Yeah, I'm happy playing more Junior Universe. Um, there's some stuff to make videos on. Like, I've got a couple of videos coming in a week. Uh, hopefully, discussing various things. Uh, but it just takes time, etc. Oh, hello. It's all on the roof there. Right, I'm going to say he'll wait for you and drink this tea in a minute. Office Wars. Exactly. It's basically what it's turned into. The FPS is pretty good considering the amount of stuff here. Yeah, it's not too bad. I was like, I'm playing this in 4K as well. Uh, and it handles fine. Like, it's not to the point where I'm feeling like this is becoming an issue, if that makes sense. Like, it's handling fine for me. Yes, it probably could be better, but again, we are in a beta. Optimizations will come at a later date. Um, there's a discussion to be had on whether this is technically the alpha of a beta. Uh, yeah, so yeah. Probably there's a VR station there. Uh, yeah, there's a VR station here, but you can't come to it. 
Uh, oh, do you mean it a Death Star? Yeah, I, we could go take a look quickly. Let's see if we can go out and check it out, because while time and dare is landing in the net. Yeah, go for it. It'll be interesting, because I haven't seen it too, so... Also, excuse the noise, the factory is rather loud. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. Darius, you are coming in a bit hot. Death. Death Star. Um, okay, let's go. Check this. I'm going to go check out the Death Star in a minute. Whoa. So this, for those who don't know, is basically a surrogate VR station. Essentially, this means I can like virtually travel anywhere, although my player and inventory won't come with me, nor, nor will my skills. Essentially, you're taking command of a drone in a way. That's like the best way of looking at it. Alpha test again. I know I pledged doing the alpha as well. I just didn't get time to play it much, unfortunately, uh, because, you know, I was just... I know, I played the alpha here and there, but because I couldn't create content on it, I never really wanted to go that far on it, because I was like, you know, it's no point for me on it. I'm not saying I play video games to get content, but I like sharing my experiences with my community. The FPS is probably CPU band. Yeah. Does not even HQ have toilets? Uh, you want to be like the Enterprise of only two toilets for a crew of a thousand. Yes, it's called a hole on the ground, aka Kraz's office. What yeah, month will Frontier come out? There's no, we're not giving a month uh, because that locks me to a certain deadline. Frontier will come out in 2021. I've got a tech plans month in the top of my head, uh, but it depends how I work it. It's being worked as a passion project, so. Jesus, now this is laggy here. Christ almighty. <laughs> oh if you drop out. Well, yeah, you, you, you if I'd it's laggy. Like... Yeah, I've gone to the Death Star. Yeah, that would explain it. Oh, <laughs> oh hell. So, chat, you wanted to see it. I, th I think this is it. Oh, my God. That, is that actually it? Chat, you wanted this. You wanted this. Oh, my God. Is that, it can't move, surely. Um, No, there's a static grid, so I think. What's this on the bottom, man? Oh, it's hover engines. It, they might be engineering it. They might be taking a blueprint, then copy the whole... Oh my god, I see it on your stream. Jesus. I was going to I could use the elevator. I'm not sure if I can. Oh, oh my. I'm... Yep, it's actually... Is it... <laughs> it's... I'm in a phone room. <laughs> oh, I just fell down a lift. Uh... Oh, oh, I see. It's a very mini this death star. It's very laggy at the minute. Chat, if you're getting lag, I apologise. There is absolutely nothing I can do about this. There's actually a phone up here. Oh my, this is amazing. Oh god, the frames. What the heck, what type of core is that? Is that a large core? It's dynamic core. Oh, it's a dynamic, they're building on a dynamic core. This thing okay. can move. Jesus. And here's a window looking at the back on Alley of Fear. You can see the shadow it's casting. My Christ, that is just intense. Anyway, uh, currently AK out, so. Fantastic, I'm just inspecting a Death Star, so. <laughs> Look at it. I love Alley Office plants, to be honest. Mm. Honestly, this is mental. Uh, it's really, it's really cool to see what the community can do. Oh yes, that's why I love. Oh my god, <laughs> I've fallen through it. Uh, yeah, the DU community are fantastic. With it's why I'm excited for us to do the ship expo coming in January, uh, because that is going to be like fantastic to check out. But I've okay. gotten lost. I'm just going to uh, come back to HQ now. Whew. Chat, maybe also, we'll do a uh, video on the Death Star at some point if you'd like to see that. Type yes in the chat if you want to see a video on the Death Star. Maybe we'll reach out to the people and actually ask them about it. So, yeah, keep an eye out for that. Also, uh, Dara said, uh, yeah. Do you want to come up? Yeah. I'll drag him so, up. So, lovely. He might want to come see the new ship as well. Um, hello, Darius. How are you doing? Captain. You are live on channel Captain Jack. Do not say shit or fuck. Roger that. <laughs> We've just been, I just checked out the uh, Death Star, you know, on um, Alioth. Sweet Jesus, that thing is big. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know what they say. That's no moon. <laughs> Shut That's up. a Shut meme. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <by laughs> that, you should try it for Planet Autopilot. It's Charles U2 and from Planet, so you can cycle through. Owen, I mean, can that thing take me to like a marketplace out of interest? Because I'm, I need to fly to Marketplace 12. So, yeah, let me know. Because if so, I could set it on Autopilot. I don't need to go to another planet yet. So, yeah, so speaking by the way, the shuttle's now finished. I don't know if you've seen it. Uh, we can start rolling about blueprint wise so you know, be mass produced now. Cool. I'll get the pro production line set up between Bravo and Omega so that both are ready to mass produce. Just having a couple of them running, because I really want to obviously make one personal for me so I can run around and do videos on it, etc. And I don't want to keep taking up your sh only shuttle just because I'm <laughs> off on an adventure somewhere. Have I just gone inside? Oh dear. Um, 
What, what have you done? I just glitched inside. Oh, um. Uh -oh. <laughs> I glitched inside uh -oh. the HQ. Let me just. Uh oh. Open that a minute. There we go. And put it back. Chris will never know I was here. Yeah, um, I really want to get the shuttles up and running so I can have like, my own personal one to run around and do yeah. this with. Why wouldn't you want one? Exactly. Everyone should have one. That's why I got myself my first Star Runner. Exactly. Hello, Captain Jack. Hello, chat. How are we doing? If this is the escape, then where? If this is the escape, then where's the pod? Yeah, Owen. Uh, let me know if it actually does. Um, you know, autopilot thing. I forgot what you said. Let's be honest. Uh, what the uh, shuttle? Yeah, because you can cycle through plants. Um... Okay. Oh, oh geez. Hang on, Owen. Did you just seriously say it right? You can engage using Alt F, Alt Four. Alt four. I thought you said Alt F Four. I'm like, you fucker. Have you only just seen this time the door? Yeah, whoa. Owen put this in. I like it. <laughs> I take. I like it. Right, gents, are we ready to oh. take off? I believe so. Indeed. Oh, Inside. Ooh, very nice floor. Taking the seats. Yeah, I, ha I have a GPS point. Like, I've got it set as my destination. Mm. I don't know what you said now. Um, you can cycle through plants using Alt, alt 1. Okay, Alt 1. Um, hmm. These are the planet things. This will actually autopilot us to planets if need be. Okay. Um, in and in a moon. I wonder if it's bring up the marketplace. Probably. N uh, is it um sanctuary? Uh, yeah, it's in marketplace twelve. I've got a GPS, but if it only oh, tell me about the autopilot thing, I feel like we shouldn't trust it under this. To be honest. Yeah, I, I don't think the autopilot works in between marketplaces. We might have to just do manual. Okay. And plus, to be fair. <laughs> But it's better to do it manual. Good okay. old fashioned. Uh, which way should I go? I should go going? Oh, I'll just go around that way. Right. I should warn you, by the way, my pilot experience, not that good. So, good luck. Oh, jeez. It's fine. What's the worst experience? Stand by the bell. Stand by the bell. <laughs> I have passion. to admit, I love the screens in here. Let's take the break off. <laughs> and uh, let's go. go. To third person and... Nice. Bye, Star Runner. <laughs> Even I was on edge there for a minute. <laughs> yeah. Now, also, apparently, seems... it's been left in Marketplace 12 for us, so, uh... Okay. So, we just need to go around the planet. We're going to Marketplace 12, so I'm just going to cruise this event. Hopefully, it's not been nicked. No, it's been tokenized to Redwood, apparently, so... Okay. How do they do that? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we're going to go... Someone's jacked our <laughs> ride already. <laughs> Uh, I can feel myself getting a bad throat. This is a bad idea. And you know when you're about to get like a cold or a bad throat and you can feel it there? I can feel something in my throat, which is not a good sign. Yeah, I can kind of feel that too. I believe the phrase you're supposed to use at times like this is Ricola. <laughs> no, I'm drinking tea and thinking if I go to have a bad throat, I am fucked given the amount of recording I have to do over the next couple of months. Oh, Lord. Jack, remember this? Well, one for doors and ramps, the other is for hangers. Honey and lemon. Good point. Honey and lemon. True. Get some white tea. It'll I drink Earl Grey a lot at the minute, so. Earl Grey is great, but I like Earl Grey. it's, it's not exactly the best for throats. No, That's white tea. And for all the um, sponta spontaneity I see in this organization, sometimes a little bit of black tea might help too. Or vodka. Helps you focus. Vodka, definitely. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what do you think we serve at the bar? It's just vodka. It's pure vodka. It's a vodka bar. Yeah. <laughs> I, I thought it was gin and tonics. You know, you know those water containers? Yeah. Vodka. <laughs> just breaking it to the orc chamber. <laughs> I'm actually flying. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! <laughs> What's this Let, let's going? put it this way. Uh, my flying experience includes flying other people's ships and crashing three out of four times and then flying my own ship and crashing zero out of five times now so hey, oh, by the way, i prefer not oh, flying oh. other people's ships oh there we go thank you <laughs> it's alt f4 um don't hit alt f4 that's a joke no. <laughs> yeah let watch the shuttle nose dive into the giant lake over there <laughs> if well, you go boys. into third person and you look down you can actually see the shadow of the shuttle oh thank you Owen. cruise control that's good Thing. Look, Ma, no hands. <laughs> oh, Lord. Somehow, though, um, no offense. No hands, no lure. 
Yeah, no offense, Owen, but your um, last time we used your autopilot, it took us in at like either two miles per hour, or we basically became a barbecue. <laughs> so. Is this a popular uh, game somewhere in certain circles? I'd say it's semi-popular. Mitch, Juno definitely has its own community and communities within own communities. That makes sense. Like, there's a lot of player-driven communities, uh, and then it does have the wider one. But this game is in beta at the minute, so I would personally say Dream Universe hasn't had its massive wave of exposure. I think it's arguably to say every game has a big wave of exposure, and then how that game is perceived during that big wave of exposure is whether or how it continues on. If that makes sense. I don't think DU has had like a big wave of influence that's come to it yet. Go, hey, look at this. Arguably, you know, well, I don't arguably. In fact, I am not the biggest influencer on the planet. Neither of the majority of people have covered the you, I'd say. So I'd say, like, up until you get, like, a, a million sub, like, YouTuber follow it, etc. I don't think it's going to be a big wave of exposure when, you know, they do a big marketing campaign. So that's, yeah, that's my thoughts on it. Yeah, so lots of people have taken a look at it, but I, I don't think DU's peak. That's, yeah, it's not peak, is what I'm saying. Mm. I'd say maybe think... another year or two before that happens. Yeah, it's definitely got a lot of room to like a lot of room to improve but all at the same time it's got a lot of features in so yes it has it's quite nice it's drifted mm. yes i think the thing with du is that it's not going to have its big heyday until it has a key feature and a lot of different games yeah, mmos cool. have their one key feature du's is currently a potential when that potential gets fully realized, when you see atmospheric combat and ground combat and space combat in this one server shard based world, also with that's the when it's going to be. Etc. That's going to appeal to a lot of people. Oh, yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Like, it's got a lot of potential and it's got a couple of key features that it's going to have, but it doesn't have them quite yet. Yeah, it'll take so, time to get it, which is, is good in a way. Like, yeah. it's, it doesn't need to come into We're all helping build it. Mm. This is going to be great. How far you guys yeah. are six cam? We are sixty six cam. Yeah, it's definitely. I think what people I, I know I've said this like multiple times, but what people seem to forget about DU is that it's a very long term investment game, game, and you need a lot of effort to actually build up. Like even the shuttle, like even this took a very long time to build. But then the satisfaction you get out of that, and like the long term thing you build, is arguably worth it. Yeah, I totally agree with you. I think, you know, when we're standing there now looking at HQ or Bravo or Omega for you, Darius, the sense of like accomplishment there is like fantastic, you know, in a way, when you've seen how much you've built. It is like, you know, if I decide to build a house tomorrow and it's finished in nine months' time, well, it's British builders, if it's finished in 90 months' time, you know, it'll be great. <laughs> but it's finished, you know, it's that sense of accomplishment. When you finish something you've been working on for a while, no matter what it is, like when I finished Conley after 80 episodes, I was like, they're like, Joe, you know, I've actually done a real good job on this, to be honest. Is that essential accomplishment? DU, it's, it's like when you, yeah, it's anything you compare it to, like building a massive server in Minecraft and finally placing that last block on your castle or whatever you're designing. It's a great accomplishment. I think DU is going to give that to people there. Like, you know, you finish a shuttle, you place it on there. And there you go. Yeah. It's a lot of stuff to consider. Like, I can't wait until. Assuming, um, you, assuming you actually ever finish it. True. Because, exactly. Yeah. Let's it's be one of those honest. Games you're always tinkering, which is good in a way. Yeah. That's the benefit <laughs> of the sandbox. Like, you can technically, quote unquote, finish something, but if you're a creative, you're always going to go back and change stuff. Literally yeah, I just finished place. redoing the entire Starship Factory. Yeah, because um, yeah, the you production said me... line for the Star Runners. I just redid the the entire facility for it because nice. yeah, I found a better way of doing it. And I was just like, oh, this is so much easier. This is so much better. This is so much nicer. Oh, yeah. I just spent all afternoon doing this. All right, well, I think we are on 99 likes for stream. Let's see if we can get to 100 likes this evening. And just one more of you to like, and I'll thank you for 250 viewers. Uh, go, if you guys want to join the community Discord server, come learn more about our DU org and also the other games we're like inside of a minute, including Space Engineers, Starbase, Star Citizen, etc. Head over to the Discord link. Leon has posted it in the chat there. It's discord.gg slash Captain Jack. Can't wait to see more of you inside of Discord. I think we're around 15,000 members in it, which is fucking insane. Damn. What say. Whatever happened to Starbase? Good question, actually. I'll happily talk about this. Um, I made a video in a week if you want to check out for more details and more of a precise format rather than me drinking tea and making it up to go along but no star base has been delayed it's early access been delayed into 2021 why are you maybe thinking uh oh development how honestly no it's i think star base taking more time before it releases to the general public is um makes more sense to be honest like games again we come back to this thing oh du's just crashed me by the way uh -oh. Uh, okay. uh, 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 i'll take over okay i'll see if i can get out my seat before it disconnects me i might yeah over. okay i control <laughs> it seems like and that's why you always have a co-pilot exactly. this is true 
Uh, oh my god, you, Owen. If you press Alt 6 time, it will allow mm -hmm. you to take a job. Like, why are you taking that? Um, because we just dropped 200 oh, okay. meters. Yeah, if you press yeah. Alt 6 and you go back to normal altitude. I'm just going to quickly uh, kill my DU if we start. So. Okay. Uh, it does how, that. How do I deactivate altitude hold? Alt 6. Uh... Oh boy. Uh, you can do Alt R to disable cruise control. Ah. That's it, like, a couple ah, times now, go. we've experienced some crashes as it um, goes, um, as we're flying around. There we go. Okay. I'll just clear my cache as well, just in case. There we go. Oh, no, do now we're getting an altitude. You have this. Beautiful. Okay. Um. So R to disable cruise control. Uh, use all of this again to get out of altitude hold. Oh, R to disable cruise control. Uh, Alt F six seems to just dis like no, is free. Alt six. Six. Oh, Alt six. No S. No S. No caves. No caves. We have not crashed yet. No <laughs> F. <laughs> No Fs were given in this. Uh, Jack, I have a question. Which one of the Con Law ships will be released now? Uh, I don't know. Whichever we get around to. Right, I'll jump in the co-pilot so you can fly for the rest if you want. Oh, yeah. We're 27, right? Yep. <laughs> oh, uh, this isn't... Uh, raise the landing gear, by the way. I think I forgot. Oh. G. Oh, no. No, they're not. There you go. They might <laughs> just glitch out there. Do you prefer Space Engines or Dunamis? Um, it's, to be honest with you, a lot of people are comparing like the games. I personally like both. I, I don't prefer one. Obviously, oh, Jesus Christ, time. Obviously, um, I prefer SE in a manner of speaking because, you know, I've played it for longer. If you think about it, I've played SE for seven years now. Like, it's quite a long time for me to play that game. So, yeah, and actually, I'm going to probably... If someone said, right, right now you have to play one game and you don't get to play the other, I, I probably would pick Space Engineers because I'm more familiar with it. But, you know, DU offers a lot of stuff as well, so... I think DU offers um, a lot of stuff which I wish I could do in Space Engineers. Like, I wish I could build giant cities, you know, that spawn planets and run galactic empires. You know, it's part of why we do Colony in a way is to do stuff like that. So, yeah, it's, it's a lot to consider. Though they definitely need to work on their uh, server sync. Yes, they do. Uh, what are you saying about Starbase? I'm saying it's been uh, delayed until 2021 for its early access phase. So at the minute, closed alpha people who have got invites to that so you're able to play and experience the updates. However, the early access, which you'll be able to buy into, is delayed until next year. No indication of when next year. It is delayed until 2021. Jack, when is Frontier coming out early tomorrow? I can't say. Uh, it depends when I want to bring it out. Also, I see the landing pad ahead. Yep, see it. Is Dreamers going to be on Xbox or no? Nope, it's going to be on no consoles. The team did speak about that earlier this year. However, their post about it has since been deleted because they updated the website and forgot to archive their posts, apparently. PC Master Race. Exactly. Honestly, I wouldn't, as much as it'd be fun, like, I always appreciate games that you can go on other consoles, etc. Because more people playing a game, I think that is better. You know, I don't care about the argument about should we restrict it to one console. I think if more people can experience it, it's better. Right now, the dual universe needs to uh, cement itself, finish the game as is, and work on it to a stable level. In maybe five years or more, maybe look at Xbox Series X, Y, Z, whatever it is going to be then. And you can consider that. But right now, honestly, no point. It's not worth our time. All the developers' time, that matter. I backed and pledged to this game to see it on, um, see it on PC. Is that the ship down there? Maybe. That's oh, Curitas. That is, yep. I think that's our, our Daedalus. Certainly a, a chunky version. Oh Lord, I am, I am lagging quite a lot. Okay. I think they've, I think they've landed on top of it. Uh, so you should go times. Oh, don't clip the shuttle. Yep. Yeah, forward I, again. I am, I am, Jesus Christ. Take no, uh, it's fine. Oh, there you go. Everything's just loaded in. Oh, okay. It just takes a hot minute with me. I love how I can stand well, on the shuttle. It takes a hot minute, period. It has to load Ready? in all We're the constructs on... that are littered around Move forward a bit, move forward a bit, move forward a bit. I can't, I can't. Oh my god, my FPS. Just dying. Do you want me to take over? Uh, hold on. Oh my god, Jesus Christ. There is, hold on. <laughs> oh, I'm out of the seat just in case. This thing goes down, I'm not going with it. Okay, there we, we need go. like an emergency hatch on top just to fling open. There we go. Where's there the ejector should... seat? Yeah. <laughs> we should be good now. There we go. Lovely. Steady she goes. I'll just walk off as we touch it. Fantastic. Oh, Jesus. Well done. Bye. So this is the <laughs> Apollo, apparently. And this is built for me. Hello, kids. Prime. How are you doing? 
Give us a show around if you can. Very nice. Huh? Come on, let's go have a, have a look around. Apollo 42. Very nice. Dark in it. Which engine well, is this? Uh, yeah. Oh, I don't know what you mean. Do you mean game engine or do you mean the engine we're using a shuttle? If so, I don't know. Well, game engine is going, so. Ooh, I like the poster. Yeah, I saw that. I was just saying. Nice. We are connected to each other biologically, to Earth, chemically, to the rest of the universe, atomically. That's an interesting quote. Oh, we've got flight bays as well, like the hangars. Nice. Crew quarters. We have a toilet, we're good. <laughs> oh wow, come up to the bridge. Oh, I like the noise. Look at the poster though, it's a transparent screen. The soundtrack twice. Do you play No Man's Sky? Yeah, I need to play it at some point. It's so laggy. Uh, we're actually not lagging here, to be honest. Um, I don't know what you're saying, but I'm not getting any lag here. It's not so I'm... much lag as because the server desyncs very easily. One person's screen will look like it's having issues, and another person's screen will be perfectly fine. So yeah. it's just a little something to be careful of. Ah. Oh. Uh, yeah, the bridge. The bridge looks quite cool. <laughs> it's good to get There's us. the res node. Good. Good. Whoa! Um, screen heaven! I know, right? I like it. Look at the transparent screen, though. Very nice. Uh, damage script, radar, and fuel tanks. Okay, so this is made to like be controlled by other people as well, then. Nice. I think It's got the warp this. map. Yeah, so here's the one thing. If you look at the warp map, this is an actual representation of where the planets are. Oh, nice. Okay. The oh, map in game it. does not do it justice, oh, time as you crash. can well see. Yes. God, again? <laughs> oh, fucking again. This time it wasn't a ship. <laughs> Ships moved. That makes sense, okay. So, Jago's all the way out there, Feli's in between it and Talamai. Yeah. Yeah. Is that Yeah. That's one of those, like, you look at the map in the in-game menu, and you're like, oh, okay, so everything's settled like that right now. Uh, definitely a recommendation. If you're going to play the game, get yourself a screen like that. The fuel management is nice. I like it, but you don't have to have it. The awesome system is nominal. You don't need to have, but it's good to have. The warp map, you're going to need. <laughs> it's just a fact. Yep, surrogate pods and the station. Station's nice, so very, nice, very nice. Uh, oh, you... Cowboy Bebop. Hmm? What's that? Oh, come over here, Captain. Oh, you're going to love it. Oh, oh, okay. What is it? That's glorious. Nice, okay. What's on the other room is my curious question, eh? Uh, oh, this is a cop. That's pretty good. That was another transparent screen. Nice. I like the transparent screens. What's this bit in the oh, middle of it? Got a little question? office thing over here. What's it meant to be here? That's my question. Hmm. I like it. Oh, is it? Actually yeah, this fun? is quite a, quite a nice ship to put together. It is, yeah. Get everything up and run. Conference room and all. Ah, there we go. Wooden right. chairs. Now we need to make nice. this back Posh. to uh, Bravo, which is where it's going to probably stay for a while. Uh, oh, oh. So okay, we need, um, we need to get this back there somehow. So who feels like flying? Hmm. Well, I mean, my system seems to have recovered. Plus, I do have flying techniques. But if you want to have a crack at it, Jack or no, Darius, you can have a crack of it. I'll go take the. Uh, <laughs> I'll go take the shell. Darius, you stay on board in case you need to take over, right? Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll I'll take over. I'll cool. fly this bad boy out of here. Okay. <laughs> you ready? Right, I'm sitting down. Okay, here we go, here we go. You guys make it back to HQ, okay? Oh, it has the same... Uh, Godspeed, same. gents. Godspeed. We'll okay, hold on. Uh, okay, so break enabled, Hang break on, disabled. Let me, let me close your there you go. Off you go. If you could, oh, okay. Here we go. Here. Oh. Jesus Christ. Okay. So far, so good. She looks at Ooh. Very nice. Uh, Ooh, she's got some pickup and go. <laughs> Jesus. What? Jesus we're gone. Christ. What? We're gone. Bye. Watch those engines. <laughs> we just yeeted ourselves. Well, okay. Look at right. that.
I'll get back in my slow as shit shuttle then and fly by myself. <laughs> <laughs> See you on two weeks, guys. I picked a short story, didn't I? Alright, well, what... I need to pick HQ again. Oh, yeah, where's the map? There you go. Now it's not the map, Jack. Okay. You know what we can do? We can meet up in space. Do you know what? Uh, I'm just gonna head back to HQ, to be honest. Yeah, fair mm. enough. Yeah, well, uh, I'll head off into space and I'll go to HQ. You do that, I'll go for an answer. Fair enough. This thing is monstrous. It sounds so cool. This is definitely not the first time I've seen someone attempt to recreate the Daedalus. Oh, it's, it's my, so Daedalus iconic. Is my favorite but... um, ship. Because I don't know if you've watched much of my SE stuff, Darius, but I have my own Daedalus class, which is obviously inspired by it. So I think that's. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Class. As I said, I'm, I'm not surprised at all. Everyone loves the Daedalus. It's like but all this is side. definitely beefy enough to actually make me feel like this would be a Daedalus. At least we didn't do Prometheus. Oh, well. Let's be honest. Uh, Daedalus is the better. It's also not the prototype. Same coordinates. Um, for the... Time? I'm setting coordinates for the base. There we go. Uh, I'm glad that you're setting coordinates, but. Um, <laughs> Can you do is that? The reason fine? we're spinning. Spinning? Uh, it's, it's a good <laughs> trick. It's a good trick. Th this man is trying to drift <laughs> fast and furious style. Good lord. Okay, we're on the uh, other side of the planet, so. No, we're not. Are we? Oh, yeah, we are. We're 14 and a half kilometers up, and it's 0.5 SU away. Yes. Okay. Oh, <laughs> wow. says that cost 28 million. 28 million? Jesus. It's tailored in, by the way. Oh, uh, that, do that doesn't surprise me at all. Look at the engines. True. And this was a gift. Yeah, they gifted it to the org. May I say Jeez. she is my uh, technical flagship for the time being? I don't mind who uses it, but I feel like I should claim that it's technically my flagship. So when someone goes and gets it lost in battle, <laughs> we can declare war. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we can easily slap a couple of rail guns, slap a couple of missile That's launchers on this bad boy. Just give it to Ian go. Just, you know, add a couple of things to this, all right? Yes. You know. yeah. Make it as possibly <laughs> armed as possible. Gun spam. Uh, don't, don't ask for that. You won't like the result. <laughs> I want every gun on we, that ship. We, we will make sure that there are ro missile launchers on turrets and lasers on the underside and cannons and rail guns. We will make it happen. And you will take one look at this thing and it will no longer look sleek. It'll just look like a, a weapons hotbed. Unfortunately, oh. that's the, the one big issue with adding weapons to craft is that they kind of have to stick out really badly but you can tastefully make it work i think a couple of rail guns and missile pods could easily work with this without shredding its actual aerodynamic lines definitely will you create the federation of united planets uh no ian's like frantic to start blueprinting uh no i won't create a federation i've got redwood which is almost a bit like um the empire. what do we have the empire i don't know what we really are Planet um empire, but anyway. Basically, it's like, <laughs> it's like late stage Republic. If you see, um, if you think of Moff Gideon from Mandalorian, that's how I'd like to be stylized. Everybody <laughs> say it after me, long live the Empire. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> you saw the latest episode. That's what I signed up for? Oh boy. Yep. Yes, Grand Moff Darius. Are you? Are you, are you Grand on? Moff? Yeah. Ooh, I got a promotion. Well then, let me flex. I find their lack of faith disturbing. Darius, do you watch The Mandalorian? I have. Have you seen the latest episode? Yes. No, I have not. The oh, last one I saw was The Spiders. Oh, it's a no. really good. The latest one. I <laughs> watch the episodes every Sunday. Fair enough. I, I find the little bit of anticipation of let the week build up, watch it on the weekend. I watch it right after I watch Discovery as a palate cleanser. Fair enough. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I I like what they're trying to do with Discovery. It's it's, it's again, just it's, not it's, Star Trek. It is Star Trek. I would not start arguing. It, public no, case. no. Just, oh boy. Just, just there's no point in arguing, Darius. Just you are going <laughs> really fast right now, time. It's fine. He says. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Lovely. Uh, Oh, it's a bit steamy. Here we go. 
That is that is a noise. That's a noise and a half. <laughs> ah, ooh, that's a growl. All those engines come on, and you're just like, oof. Next episode is amazing, although nothing compared to the end of the first one uh, of season two. I mean, yeah, I mean, this next episode is good. No spoilers in chat, please. Some people haven't seen it yet. And also, spoiler technically ends on uh, Monday. If you do want to see my review of it, head over to Star Wars now. Uh, it's a place on there. Uh, Joe, do you, want, do you want us to stay a little bit away out so you can land first and see it come in? Yeah, I can if you want. I'm about 60k on my mic, so you can have a bit of a wait. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Hi, Jack. Does RDB have a national anthem? Uh, technically, yes. Technically, no. There's a, there's a theme I use for it whenever they appear in um, Space Agents. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll say that. Yeah. Take the Imperial March. No, no, there's actually a theme. There's, there's a mixture of themes. No, that, that's Jack's theme. That's my personal theme. No, I feel like Moff Gideon is my personal theme now. Oh. No, Fawn. Actually, Fawn's theme is what I use. There's a mixture of themes I use when I'm up to stuff. I'll either use the Cerberus or the Elusive Man theme, which is when I'm up to sneaky shit. Or I'll use um, Fawn's theme, which also does apply to sneaky shit as well. Mm. Okay, it should be Long Live Redwood. Oh, I do actually say Long Live Redwood on occasion. It's just he in does. the latest episode, someone did say Long Live the Empire, so. I can vouch for it, he does. This is the point in time it crashes the ship, I wouldn't put it past him, to be honest. Thanks. I'm just, just being honest. <laughs> Your honesty is much appreciated. And it's going to be completely ignored. God save the industry, basically. What is the progress of the space station? R2 space station is doing well at the moment. Lifeline is doing well and Watchtower is doing well. When will RDBI engage in war? See, the way I lead um, Redwood and the way we like seeing it is basically we do not need to engage in war right now. I can guarantee you at a later date there will be wars and battles, etc. Right now, I'm happy with us building Redwood as a, you know, um, foundations, etc. and getting everything online because you can't fight wars about good infrastructure. History shows that. So primarily as we build good infrastructure, when we do need to declare war or anything, or go into battles, we will have the ability to do so more efficiently. That's the best way of looking at it. And I've successfully not broken anything. Yay! Oh, dear. Hey. Tab back in there. Oh my I, I, I briefly got really scared because uh, I looked back of the captain's seat, turned around, and I just saw this giant face just... <laughs> <laughs> Such a giant portrait of just this guy looking out in space. Uh, can't wait to see you know who hey, Pat. well, yeah. <laughs> crash, I'm not crashing us. No. Oh, ship settling a little bit. Mm, this is this is really impressive. Are there going to be any creations fighting in space engineers? Uh, I mean, a new series starts uh, in a couple of weeks, so that's like a new survival series. We tried filming it this week, though, to encounter some new errors, so it'll start probably 27th of November, I'd like to say. That's why we're going to start the new series. To be clear, that's not Frontier. Are we? Frontier was not for ages, because we need to film it and write it. I've only written an episode one so far. Oh, I know what we should have. We should have our division, division meeting on this in space while we're traveling through it. That would be pretty cool. <laughs> I can't understand what you guys are saying. I mean, I'm not sure how to help you on that one. We're speaking English. That's... <laughs> mm -hmm. Can't really help on that one. And probably YouTube subtitles won't really help you either, so... <gasps> There's a toilet. Oh, Finally, you found the bathroom. You can sit in the shower. This is not, <laughs> this is not sitting. I'm just staring at the wall. This is not... Yeah, no, what it means is use, but yeah. unfortunately they haven't coded Yeah, because I'm having a, I'm a bit of concern about the um, devs. Because when you quote unquote sit on the sofa, you lie down on it. So, I'm a bit concerned. Tape me like one of your French DU ladies. Excuse me? Get it you heard the it, captain. Get it because of a joke? Grand Admiral. Yeah, I, I, get it. I get it. God damn it. Grand I, Grand I made Bridget. that joke. Then I realized NQ is a French company. I'm like. I should have said that to be honest. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> hey, gladly. Well, they probably appreciate it as much as everyone else. True. Uh, I always like flying parts of your streams. I mean, yeah, it's. I mean, I could circuit around the place, but you can't really. Yeah, it's pretty much. I, I do enjoy flying it. I'm liking the shuttle as well. How is that huge thing faster than a shuttle? It went to space and looped around, essentially. Also, the shuttle I'm on yes. cruise control currently. So I could speed up faster, but I prefer to be on cruise control. It's easy for me. 
Have you seen Z1 Space and Judas? I have not. I was watching a stream the other day called Ant Man or Ant something. I forget their name, so sorry. Uh, they've got a really cool underground base. It looks fantastic. And yeah, I'm loving it. Mm, definitely, because uh, definitely a lot of orgs uh, do have their own like, update channels. Because yeah. I'll be, I think I watched one on, I think the Empire has one, and also a couple of other ones. Uh, it's quite cool to see what they're up to. True. Um, definitely, definitely impressive what people have accomplished in the short time of the beta. Right, I'm coming in for a landing, so I can't promise how well this is going to go. <laughs> okay. Uh, what else is now? I have forgotten how to land a bit, but. Uh oh. Okay, we're 16k uh -oh. out. Right. Repair team on standby. Repair <laughs> team on standby. <laughs> Damage control team. Report to deck one. Oh, I don't think that that's going to be a, a damage control. I think it's more like a cleanup crew at that point. This <laughs> game is very unforgiving when it comes to crashing. I haven't got any lemons. Yeah, we're going to drift this one in. <laughs> this, is, yeah, this is not going to be a good land. <laughs> I'm just going to say that now. Yeah, just just put it in and we'll, we'll do it afterwards. If there's a hole in Bravo's roof, uh, you know why. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> Where's Bravo gone? It's now Brav. Oh, if you can get oh, it through dear, the oh, O. Oh dear, oh dear. I've, I've, rolled it. I've rolled it accidentally. Oh uh -oh. dear. Oh uh -oh. dear. Well, we, we hit off one wing. That was about it. it and overall, another, to be honest... Another happy round. Yeah, it could have gone worse. It could have gone worse. <laughs> I have damaged a wing. That's about it, though. So in the grand scheme of things, <laughs> not bad. that bad. Okay, I'm going to... land it. I'm definitely not going to be able to land this thing on the landing pads. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to land a shot just outside of HQ a minute. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. I could land on top of Bravo. Uh, no, don't do that. <laughs> I'm trying to shimmy okay, the shuttle cool. a bit forward a minute. Okay, tell me where you want us to come in. We're about 16k out. All right, beginning of descent. Top it up. My gear's extended. There they are. Probably didn't help by a disabled uh, ult, so I couldn't see the actual altitude. Right, there you go. <sighs> Apparently, okay, I got an achievement for that. For crashing, I got an achievement. All right. There we uh, go. What did I actually just break? Oh, I broke two wings. Okay. Okay. I've got all the, the chairs set up so that our WI members can sit in them. Have you token Everything us, except the office chair, which is specifically for you. Have you token uh, us, uh, the couch and the res node and the surrogate pods. They just have to be activated. I didn't know if you wanted to activate them just yet. Uh, we'll look at that later. Have you token us, it's already ours. Oh, fair enough. I don't know how we managed to do that. Oh, he probably just tokenized mm. the key, didn't it? Maybe. Tokenized, he tokenized it to the org. As long as you're part of the org, you can tokenize I it to the yeah, org. I forget. Uh, you just can't actually modify it once you do, which usually strips you of the right to actually add the tag so that you can actually continue to work on it. Mm. Gotta be careful of that one. Oh, okay. can we build like an auto landing script in next? 5k out. Uh, I think we already have one, if I'm not mistaken. Um, it's uh, it's oh when you put your landing gear out, but yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Let me uh do a go around. <laughs> I don't know what's up with I've cleared the cache. Yeah. I think it's just memory leaks. What's he doing? I was uh, is there a thing for repairing? I was technically crap. No, I was building, wasn't I? That's what I was doing. Technically. <laughs> do you want to land it underwater? I'll oh, do a water landing. <laughs> uh, we all live in an Apollo submarine. An Apollo submarine. Wait, what? Anyway. <laughs> so someone said earlier, like, oh, a base underwater would look good. I'm like, we're not doing Stargate Atlantis. <laughs> we've got the Daedalus. We've got Atlantis. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't what do, do you mean, it. Do, what do you mean don't do it? Don't the water do it. isn't real water. You say that until it blows up the entire ship and we have to spend two hours repairing <laughs> everything. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Operation repair is underway. I'm just getting flashbacks from the Banger bus. Place of Nautica. Yeah, I've not played some Nautica in ages, to be honest. Mm. I have an abundance of gaming computers as I like, watch you play Space Engineers. You can probably get. Oh, yeah. I mean, just get just get a different operating system. Abundance of gaming computers aren't actually a thing. Just get a different OS. 
I'm literally just all windows. Yeah, when in doubt. Well, I think on most of those Linux things you can actually get shells which do windows, etc. Now you're just asking for a lot. Mm -hmm. Well, like Mac, you can get um, windows stuff on it, so... <laughs> you just gotta believe and try. <laughs> I think I have one yeah. on my Mac for windows, so... Just gonna leave it there. a little delayed, exactly. Yeah, so then we look tonight, I'm done for, I'm crashing as well. It might just be a bit, hopefully it'll be solved on Monday, because it did a patch yesterday for some stuff, so. I'm not sure if anyone's put anything in the Discord. For some reason, the landing gear is not want to engage. Probably because we're. I'm literally logging back in there. Fair enough. I need to get a drinking mix, I'm first starting to go up. Ugh, right. <laughs> Which direction are you coming in from? Uh, we're coming in from Darius. Could you? I'm currently in the pilot seat, and I can't let go. Darius, could you tell him? Uh, we are currently south by east of your position. Okay, I'll be on the lookout. <laughs> you should be able to hear us anyway. So, are you, are you coming yeah. in atmosphere or from space? Uh, we're coming in atmosphere. Okay, so, so we're going to be performing some terrain hugging maneuvers. It's just gonna come over the top and skim the trees, is it? What the hell? Um. What? What? Time. What? What's happening? Time. What did you do? The brakes have. What? Not crashed yet. Get out of the pilot seat. The other pilot's not happy. Stop it. Uh oh. Get out of the pilot seat. Hold on. Uh. Get out of the pilot seat. Get back in. Okay. Yeah, the oil pilot no, wanted us to land. Lockdown 2.0. No. Honestly, no. Lockdown 2.0 no sucks, but obviously it's needed. There you go. I was chatting to somebody who was a friend from Wales. He's like, we've just come out of our two-week lockdown. And I'm like, oh, for fuck's sake. I'm stuck in another two weeks. It's like 18. We I think it's 17 days. No, it's 18 okay. days until um, yep, seven second when we come out of lockdown. It's like, oh. It's needed, though. It's completely needed. But it's just, you know, it's a pain. Okay, we should be all right now. No. Thank you, Peter. Should be in the keyboard. Should be in the keyboard. <laughs> As with all things, you can hope, you can pray, you can dream, but you can't guarantee. It's true. But that's okay, because we, RWI, believe. What do we believe in? Believe Time lost. not hitting that mountain directly in front of us. I'm, I can I can see the mountain. It, like, it's the mountain, so you know. See, you say that until one time you're flying, and the mountain doesn't appear until after you've hit it. Yeah, well, I'd I'd rather do this than <laughs> I, look. To be fair, I'm not Owen, so. Oh. Yes. Shots fired! Shots fired! Here we come. Three Here kilometers. We... And you're coming. And it's from beginning the to bug out. Uh, coming from the northwest no, wait, now. North Jesus. Oh Jesus Christ! I see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Action da, 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 station, da, da, second edition da, one. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, meet your doom. I have got a red alert sound going. Oh. Oh, it just stopped dead air. Um, oh. Yeah, the brake the brake landing system autopilot thing seems to be a bit iffy. I like it, it's very nice. There we go. As in the ship. Very nice when it works properly. Just make a ship looking ram through a mountain. What like, comes with a mountain like the Kool-Aid guy. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> to be fair. There we go. I think we are actually on Neff's territory. You but are. Could you show me a bit closer by any chance? God. You landed successfully. <laughs> I mean, you could knock another ship out of the air up if you want. <laughs> I mean, I mean, this would allow us to do that. It would, actually. Just hover it up there <laughs> so I can go get are rid we... of it. Actually, do you want to get on now? <laughs> if you want to ship me over to the base, sure. Yeah, here. Fly by and I'll jump on. <laughs> <laughs> there's an there's an actual talent for that. Oh, sorry. Achievement. Oh, I'll come by. Bye. Hopper down. <laughs> Maybe not that fast. <laughs> but if I just go into build mode on you. Yep. There we go. Ooh, I'm in it now. Okay. Uh, and you get take off. Let's go get that ship. I'll open the fighter bay. Yeah. See if we can put it inside. My God. Right. Take us to that ship bay. See if one hovering. Mm -hmm. This is somebody's is ship. So I appreciate sure somebody who's watched the stream before. So we're gonna go retrieve it. Don't clip the factory. <laughs> oh, I'm on top. Don't forget. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> slow down. You're fine. Hit the brake. And brake. Right, hang on. Nope. Out of range. 
Hey, hold to bump on. up our shoot a bit. <laughs> the target image. Hang on. Still out of range. Oh, come on. Very hard to pilot. Nice, low back uh, shield. Okay, I'm gonna shield have lower. to go I'm gonna have to go vertical. Vertical oh my god, stand on my nose then, shall I? Everyone hold on to your hats, we are back. Hey, you're out. you're gonna you're you're gonna basically gonna be Ooh. like how close I am to it because I cannot tell. Uh closer. Oh, I have no right to maneuver the construct. This this is gone. Oh. It's in our territory though, which is even more annoying. Whoa. Well then. We should be able to hijack it. We should be able to what? Uh, like hij hijack it. Oh, we should hijack it. I mean... You think we'd be able to? Yeah, you know. would think. I don't know, do we have an orbital cannon yet? Yeah. <laughs> There's an orbital cannon rises out of the, uh, you know, factory Bravo. Uh, yeah. see, if no, can, it's... see if you can land on the other side Giving of the away pads. trade secrets, Captain. Uh, yeah. Not on Bravo time, around the other side okay. of the pads. Uh... Fine. You're talking about the other weapon of last resort. Huh? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, time. Just drifting this. Jack, open the roof hatch. Oh, there was one up there, wasn't there? I should have came in that way. Right, just put a straight forward. Forward? Yeah, land on HQ. I'm waiting to hear the explosion. There's a hole there, so it's not landed in that. Now, landed in the hole. What landed we're going to do is hole. task Leo with building a landing pad just for this one. Yeah, or hangar bay. <laughs> we'll do that. An <laughs> underground hangar bay. Let's one up it even more. Yeah. Get a moving oh, landing. God. Get ODY over here. Get him to build us like a moving landing pad. Right, swim us uh, around so it's facing HQ and bring why? us down. Run a bit closer? Or this good? Um, this be good. Take it down. Right, Darius, this is locked down so only we can access it? Correct. Nobody else can take it for a joyride? Nope. No one else can take it. And we have successfully landed. Well done, gents. That was good. That was good. Uh... And we all live to tell the tale. <laughs> so when's the reactor breach starting? <laughs> just to get rid of this other ship over here that's just stuck here. The, uh, the USS Moby. Oh, Lord. How do I get out of this thing? Oh, there we go. Found it. I can't wait for new series Frontier. It's going to be cool when you guys see it. There's a lot of stuff I've been writing for it and planning. And also, if you was a fan of Planet Wars when that originally came around, uh, let's give me some references here and there. Mm. I have actually not watched Planet Wars yet. You slag. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say repairing his beauty. Uh, there seems to be a tree in the middle that I. Oh, no, it's vanished. <laughs> Never mind. It was supposed to be an earth shattering kaboom. <laughs> I want to do kaboom. To do kaboom? Why do we? And here is the beat. Here are the pleb shuttle. Wow. Who shot even is this? This is Neo. Uh, this is Neo's, yeah. Oh, okay. I kind of like this designer. Yeah. Very minimalistic. It's, it's basic and does the job, which is kind of what you need sometimes. Yeah. Like my logo. Uh, I can't see it. Um. Yeah, I do like some of the Obviously, this is one of the starting ships as well. This is, um, Tom, have you seen much of Starbase before? Uh, yes. So Starbase is one of those little runaround ship. This little one here reminds me very much of it in a way. There's a certain mm. Starbase ship which I've used before. I think it's called a Vasma or the Phasma or something like that. It very much reminds me of this because it's like a, just a little runabout essentially. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, yeah, you showed that on your... I've got to admit, the Daedalus does look cool up there, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It looks better than the thing to its right. Oh, maybe, <laughs> yeah. Yes. What is so why is there a random... Oh no, wait, no, that's got loads of... Oh my god, that's a lot of soil. Aaron's moving with shuttle. Is he? Yeah, uh, should make like a luxury liner. We may do it at some point. We've got a few things in the production at the minute. Um, like, obviously the Star Runner, which Darius is overseeing, on Mad Munch and a few others. Uh, the shuttle's now in the production. So things are getting there. Uh, it just takes time to build stuff in D. Wait, who's flying the shuttle? Um, not me. Darius, is that you? Nope. Oh, it's Owen maneuvering it. Oh, he might be maneuvering, that's why. Is he? Flying, maneuvering, same <laughs> difference. Oh, by the way, in trade for this, we're going to take your shuttle. Bye. <laughs> oh, yeah, he is maneuvering. I was like, I can't see any of you flying. It's, what the hell's going on here? He's using the force. It's being, it's being nicked. We're being jacked, everyone. Quick. <laughs> Evacuate. 
Why don't we use the shuttle to get the floating ship? Uh, I don't have a right to maneuver it, which is a bit odd. So that's parked in our base. So literally someone just left it hovering there. If this is your ship, please can you move it? Because it's becoming like an eyesore at this point. Yeah, for the love of God. Hopefully at a point, like, devs are going to do something about, um, you know, like, ships being left around. Because, like, we've got this ship over here, aka the dildo ship, which is at the left here. And I don't think a player's ever logged back in. So yeah. it's like... Well, how do like we as a community deal with that? Can we eventually salvage it if it's like left for 90 days, etc.? It mm. does come down to interesting discussion. Like, say if I want to take a year off the EU, does all my stuff then immediately go become up for grabs? Or, like, you know, yeah. it's, it's a discussion to be had, and I think they have spoke about it a couple of times now. It can pilot follow. What? Oh, the shuttle can follow you. That's, what? uh... Owen says the shuttle can pilot and follow you. Um, that sounds... That's... That's clearly I, I, one way. Does that mean you can also call it to yourself? You know, like in sci-fi, where they call up a ship to themselves. No, Does just, that mean you can do it? Have you have you literally created a Tesla? He has, hasn't it? It's following him. Uh, it's currently just hovering in midair. I just wait. Oh my god! Oh my god! It's just looking at him. That's that's menacing. <laughs> there you go. See, he's not even maneuvering uh, it. It's it just it following him. Um. That is pretty impressive. That's pretty cool. What's your opinion on the faction DSI? I like what some of their stuff are doing. It's the most useless function ever, but... Yeah. No, it's not useless. I think it could be beneficial. Actually, that's interesting. Could you then pilot another ship and then have no, that one following you? Uh, I'd say I don't think you could. Hmm. Maybe also, you... while he's doing that, I'm just going to go and nip a drink. So don't say anything weird. Because uh, my phone's hurting. So, back in a second. Okay. Fair enough. I don't think you can do it because when you get into the pilot seat, it actively ends certain Lewis scripts. So, unfortunately, uh, no good. I've seen a couple of people use it on hovercraft to make them make it follow them around. And uh, especially if you're doing a little bit of mining, if you set the ship to follow you, it will not go underground, but it will try to like trace over your head. So if you're like a kilometer down, it'll like actively follow part of the terrain. But once you get like, I think it's 1.5 away, it actively disconnects just lines. Okay. So it's that's... a fun little cute thing. Yeah, it's quite cute. I've seen a couple of people start creating ships that are little pets, like things from Final Fantasy XIV. Oh my god, yes. Where it actually, just yeah. follows you around, little tiny thing. That's a, that's a, yeah, that's a, that's actually a thing. Uh, Owen, can I get like a little like Wally? I want a Wally. Like a little hover Wally. Get that done. This. What Wally? Oh. I see. It's going to be a ship. Hmm. Interesting. Big giant thing. Going to be mm -hmm. a ship someday. It's going to grow up, become nice and big and strong. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure calling it behind any lies and cause it to open fire. I'm pretty sure it's just kind of basically like basic following commands. Like, I don't think you can't tell it to fire. No, no. Mm -hmm. They've specifically sta stated multiple times that the ability to fire weapons has to be manually set while in radar mode. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Because I think. Um... Because that's so, what the devs wanted. They wanted everything to be like, you basically had to have like giant cruise ships. It can't just be just one guy piloting like a giant capital class cruiser. Someone figured out a way to write a Lewis script to cause an actual weapon system to fire if he pushed a button on the console and they immediately took it out. They were mm -hmm. like, sorry, just no. Well, I love I come back and I just see the shuttle like slam into the ground. Yep. Did that, did that actually? Oh. Yeah. Like I said, one of the know. things that you missed was um, apparently a giant fireball, and <laughs> yeah, the second sun is now rising. I beg your pardon. <laughs> the, the Death Star is coming. <laughs> the Death Star is coming. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm kidding. That's not um, the Death Star. That's Star Killer Base. Yeah, Wait, Star Killer oh god. Yeah. It's, it's, like, it's um, here for Ivan's ship. Do you know Echo Base's um, basically giant ion cannon? Oh yeah. Um, yeah, I think we, that, that just comes out of the mountain over there. It just starts firing. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Why have we got, like, a pit or, like, a sewage drain in the landing pad design? Wait, what? It's like, well, it's like a, just a random groove down the middle here. That's... Well, I mean, when you got to go, you got to go. Yeah. Maintenance 
Maintenance there's work. And there's also like a garage going down here, which is going to be very hard to fit stuff in, my add. Hmm. I guess so. It might be. I would say hovercraft access, but it's too slim for that. Maybe it's supposed to be like some really weird walkway. Actually, he's got like hovercraft things here. That's... Yeah, true. It's, who's hovercraft is this? Owen, I mean, can you land that freaking shuttle rather than walking around a bit? Yeah, please. You're wasting a lot of fuel. Make an Ardy by Death Star. I don't think we need that. We, we really um, don't. As fun we, as it would be, we do not need a to die Death, Death Star, Star is a weapon of mass terror. Yeah. We've already got Kraz and Castle somewhere. Yeah, true. Yeah, exactly. We don't need a Death Star. Besides, once Omega's up and running, we'll be the pride of the entire game. And everyone will look at us and go, ah, I see they decided to create Carson. <laughs> I see they discovered fusion power. Hmm. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, Owen, I hate to be like the bearer of bad news, but that's not straight on the landing pad. You failed. GG. <laughs> GG, bad again. Um, but yeah, I think definitely the progress we made here. Like I say, every single, basically every single stream. The, definitely the progress we've made here is really good. Honestly, yeah, I'm really happy with it. Obviously, Bravo is doing really well. We've got a central plaza being planned out, so Chris is overseeing this soon, which will be quite fun. Uh, lots of mm. landing pads coming together. We're going to link a few more cores together and we'll have a good in that space. Because I think Kraz wants to build like an engineering HQ and also various other bits of tech as well. So. Yeah, and we're definitely getting... Um, what I'll do, actually, I'll add the... Um, um, the Deadless... Has it got a proper name, or is it just called Deadless? It's called Apollo. It's called the Apollo. Oh, it's Apollo. Fair enough. Um, yeah, I'll add the Apollo to the standardized ship list. And we, um, we also need to create the um, Galactic Museum. Yes. Yes. Galactic Museum of RWI, also known as Propaganda Center 01. <laughs> that's, the thing, that's the thing also. I haven't had many submissions for photos, so, you know. <laughs> Gonna... Honestly, I think a lot of people were a little put off by early game development. Mm. Like, they expected us to expand a lot faster, and honestly, it's not going to happen. It's, it's, yeah. but, this game is a game of patience, in a way. Oh. And now we've got, come a, a long way, and soon enough you're going to see all the great, glorious, googly mooglies that we can come up with. Oh, I can't unsee that. The, um, the front door to the HQ is slightly off. What? It's, it's slightly off center. What do you mean? Like, like, like each door is not aligned perfectly. What if I'm the Death Star Reaver? It kind of is in a way. It kind of is. I can't join you all. Just 25 minutes bit off the center. Yeah, our applications were uh, closed for a while while we was overhauling the recruitment process. So my other message doesn't really apply. And also, like, it is busy times at the minute. And if it's in a week, just understand you're going to wait a bit longer. So <clears throat> we will update that thing soon. I'm going to prove it that goes to exit ship. Ooh, I'm liking these arrows. On about time. We need mm -hmm. that off center. Um, the front doors. The yeah, I'm staring at them. That's the factory. Oh, that's not the HQ. Not all is not in the factory, Darius. Christ. Yeah, come on. Sorry, yeah. it's where I go first every time. <laughs> I'll, I'll chuck you down your own bottomless pit. The uh -oh. oh. Yes. Oh, you can't you can't unsee that, can you? Well, <laughs> it looks fine to me, so I'm just gonna walk past and you know. Oh well, Ian, did Ian add this? I think add all the screens. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, this was actually. Um, I think this was actually. Um, I think Chris, Chris, maybe. Chris, yeah, this was. Um, Chris added all the the pedestals, but I just said to um, Ian, just you know, just put something on there. So it's better than nothing, because I'm going to be putting on the pictures on it one by one. Um, I like it. Which I think is really good. Um, There's a queue at the door now for some reason. <laughs> Hello. Okay. I'm just hopping in a VR station, Miz. I want to go look at some other stuff um, while I'm here. Okay. I want to see if I can go uh, access OGY stuff. There's some stuff here. I would. Um, it's quite laggy over there, so. Uh, well, I went and saw the Death Star a minute ago, so. What is True. actually on the circuit list? Let's just have a look around. USF Space Station Contest Museum. I don't know what that is. Uh. U.S. Outpost Museum, Medium Ship. Oh, let's just look at the Medium Ship Museum. I've not been to these yet. Is there a maximum yeah, but... of applicants that you're going to accept? No, uh, you can apply anyway, and we'll accept you based on some criteria we have. If you've applied, then expect to probably hear from us in the next week at least. 
Um, so yeah, internal lab is overseeing Ozimit, which is a division of Redwood, which oversees recruitment. What's the next series? Please tell me you're killing me. I literally announced it yesterday. <laughs> you couldn't have missed it more. Ooh, hello. Where am I? Uh, Medium Ships Museum. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, I think the museums were set up, I think, to showcase ships that were in the Alpha, I believe. Yeah, it's something like that. But they There's are steadily adding. Hmm. They are adding ones from the beta, though, I think, uh, slowly. Yeah, I think you can, like, submit your ships to the museum, maybe? But it has to meet like certain qualities, I think. Okay. Who's understand? Um, who built the um, Apollo again? Uh, what was that? Ah. Or Discord or is um, Kyrtos in game or Kyrtonius or something? I can't remember the name. But I can't remember, but I can't remember how to pronounce it. Oh yeah, I think I know them. They're nice looking ships, I do. Oh, I like the chance of one. To a mantis. It does look like a mantis, doesn't it? Should we go take a look? Maybe it's based off of a mantis. Let's go take a look inside. It looks like some sort of cargo shuttle or transport shuttle. Is that VIP seats? They are, okay. Very nice. It's definitely like some sort of executive shuttle, isn't it? Mm. Like, like I said, it's definitely a place to get inspiration. Exactly, you can come here and get inspiration for designs you want to build and the way you go, really. Mm. Because you already know then that they work in game, so it's definitely possible. Exactly, so you have to win. Oh, I've just fallen behind a door. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> oh, it's a fake door, that's why. <laughs> Real fake doors. <laughs> fake doors? Mahogany doors? Oh, God, no, You can certainly feel frames when you're in large contracts like this. Mm. That is, I don't know, that is not the Mantis like from Jedi Fallen Order, I really don't think it is. It looks, it's based off of it, obviously. Spectre class Corvette. Okay, also near then. What the hell's that? A window M? Is that an actual block in there or just a screen? It looks like a screen. Oh no, it is actually, that must be like an anti-grab unit. Yeah, it is, anti-grab unit in there. Nice, okay. Oh, I'm being followed by someone. Who's this? Oh, curious to see. Oh, this Corvette's got a nice bridge on it. Right, I'm heading back to Barbie. Uh, awesome. Imagine someone making Peter Ship from Guardians of the Galaxy. It probably could be done. Honestly, I wouldn't put past anything in Dewey Universe. People could make a lot of stuff, so I'd happily love to see some of that. I mean, we saw a Lambda class shuttle. The Ship Expo coming up in January, which I will cover, and Red will be there as well. We'll be showing off a shuttle, maybe the Star Runner, and a few other ships by then. Um, so, yeah, I think look out for that. It's going to be quite cool. Yeah, because yeah, I, I think very early into the. Um... Uh, into the beta, people were already creating like fan chips because I remember I saw like a Futurama ship, which was actually really well made for its time. Yeah. Um, and just like there's a bunch of fan base out there, and even if like even if you're going solo, if you if, like even if organizations like your forte, which is fair enough, you can still create some amazing things. Like half of the amazing th ships I see at like Sanctuary and just like random places are built by solo players. So it's just like it really is just about you know just doing what you feel is best for you and if you want to be alone in that that's fair enough because if that's where you thrive it's totally fine oh my god someone's flying the star runner okay oh it's got my ship on it <laughs> there he's like i'm out of here <laughs> i have no idea who could have possibly done that are you remote control i will time your ship's back Yep. You made it from scratch again. Uh, no, I already had a blueprint, so I need some resources. Oh, my, yeah. my glorious ship. So, how does the blueprint system work in you? Because something I've not really explored yet. So Is it just basically, like, you know, weld up as you go along. Uh, yeah, basically. So you know how to create a blueprint, yeah? Yeah, I've, yeah. Obviously, I've got like a horde of 101 blueprints at this point. Okay, that's not working. Um, so basically, how they work is if you 
right click on them and inspect them, it basically shows the stuff you need for it. So it has a list of all the items you need for that. Then once that criteria is... Oh Christ. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to mill up. So I don't um, need to get that in a linked container then? Uh, yeah, either a linked container or you're a personal. Okay. Or a person. Um, then once that's done, you can basically double click it and it'll show a box. I think it'll show a red box currently. Right. But once you have all the stuff, it'll show a green box. And you, then you'll be able to name the uh, core and then it pastes down. Oh, wow, okay. That's not too bad, then, is it? Yeah, it's Honestly, pretty good. I thought you the, had to like, build it by hand or something like that. The thing is, with the blueprint, what it does is it basically takes a picture of everything that is your construct at that time with all the rights to the construct at that time. Yeah. So if you want to be able to make further blueprints off of it, you actually have to give someone else the right through the RDMS to make blueprints off of it. Okay. before you make the blueprint itself ah, on okay. on already deployed constructs they are the original blueprint even if you destroy it even if you try to overwrite it they are the original blueprint Is this model to stop people from like creating different versions etc and selling or selling yep. someone else's blueprint yeah it's okay. to stop people from basically buying a blueprint taking the blueprint changing one or two things and claiming it that it's theirs. i'm glad they thought that system around it because that was something which i when i first chatted to jc about you know someone becoming famous to building ships etc it was the thing i was concerned about did you just land upside down uh quite, uh no actually not why is it upside down then um totally different reasons than it should be anyway carol nice. yeah i was concerned about how like the blueprint system would be handled in game but i'm glad to hear it's going to work like that i think i'll be a sure lot of players as well because last person wants to do is spend you know 100 hours or whatever building like say our shuttle or the star runner or bravo and go and sell it and then have someone just modify and nick it because it's one thing I see on a Steam Workshop all the time. Not, I don't know it's different circumstances, but people just like stealing like workshop things. I have a big problem with Mod.io about that, I don't know. Mm. Uh, I have to go and finish and sign up for some more. See you, man. Uh, I want to see more games like SE and Dual Universe. Large scale intergalactic combat games could be something magical. Yeah, I think, you know, there's a large variety of games out there like that at the minute. You've got No Man's Sky. They all offer different things like Star Citizen, Elite Dangerous, EVE Online. They all offer different things, all in different states of development. There is a definite, there's a wide aspect of that type of game you're looking for. Um, so it just comes to one, whichever one you want to focus in. Like, I know from next no. week onwards, uh, I'll be checking out a bit more of Star Citizen again. They're so doing a free fly week, which means I can fly around after spending money, which is nice. Yeah. yeah. I do like, like as so, much as Star Just Citizen in case anybody bit. wants to know, since they brought it up, um, Epic is having Elite Dangerous go free next week. There you go. Um, so yeah, as much as I like Star Citizen, you know, it can be a bit of a meme sometimes to say, oh, 300 million. I do kind of like exploring the game because it's beautiful. I think that's one thing people can't deny about the game. I think, yeah, also, some people, uh, the thing is with these type of games, you've got two ways of playing them. There's kind of like the speedy version of like, basically you want to get from A to B as soon as possible, kind of just go through. But there's also kind of like the quote unquote scenic route. It's like with um, Star Citizen. Uh, you basically can just warp once you're like near enough um, like in like thin atmosphere. Hmm. Alternatively, you could manually do it, and the actual visuals of you going out of atmosphere, oh, you can I actually can't see. Can't wait that to jump ship. back into Star Citizen like next week mm -hmm. because it's just beautiful. Yeah. Like as much as we get pissed off because it does glitch around, it is beautiful. Yeah, like, I. You're flying down to like uh, Microtech and places like that and Art Corp. They're beautiful. Like, I really want to do some big multiplayer missions. If any of the community is interested in joining us next week, please come to Discord as we might do some big uh, game nights over the next couple of free fly weeks. What that means is you don't have to basically spend any money uh, to join Star Citizen. It's on a free fly week, meaning you can just play it free. And I think yeah, it's November could... 20th of December 3rd, roughly, I think. Ooh. Yeah, I'm definitely think... jumping in. The last time we did it was hilarious. Yep. So we jumped that, was, that, that was quite funny. Oh my god, um... Reed, no! <laughs> <laughs> uh... Actually, that, that, that was very funny because that was actually like just all unscripted. <laughs> it was, yeah. We couldn't have planned it any worse. Oh, uh, the, the, uh, it just, it, I think it just turned out amazing for the thing. But yeah, just, oh, as, what I was saying. Oh, yeah. It's just like the way you just play games is like, it depends on what experience you have and it depends on the type of person you have. And it's, it's like basically as we were flying over there. Like, we could have easily just went the route I did. Like, normally I go into space, then come back down. That'd be a speedy route. But then if you go along atmosphere you, and you actually look down and stuff, like, the scenery is just amazing. That's what some people forget. Like, games need to load all the scenery that 90% of the time you actually just skip past and just focus on one task at hand because it's just how humans work. They go one task and another task and another task. 
but if you just take a minute and just stop and just look, it's actually quite beautiful. Anyway, that's my that's my uh, zen. <laughs> that's your zen of wisdom. Game, eh? yeah, that's mean, my you've fourth. got a good point. I say, when the next series starts. So a new survival series will start in a couple of weeks, uh, and Frontier won't start until next year because that's a cinematic series. And Crash Bandicoot, if you cannot make them in five minutes, because uh, those series take too much time. <laughs> They, uh, I'm sure I believe you, Captain. Yeah, I'm glad like the series has received well because the teaser went out last night, and it seems like a lot of people are liking it. So we'll see how it goes down when the first why. episode comes out. I was really happy about so, the teaser. I've been pissing around about it for about two weeks now. Yeah, it turned out really well. It's almost like you're good at this. Well, you know, <laughs> it's almost like you're both smart. I think also um, it's definitely been it's definitely a lot in the making, but. Yeah, a lot of these, um, to go back to the other game thing a minute, um, a lot of these games are work in progress currently, like, there's always a discussion of whether Star Citizen, like, for example, is a scam, etc, or something like that, um, but it's, I don't know, it's, it's got a lot of potential there, it's just how they handle it. And then we look at DU, it's like, a lot of people don't like the subscription model, but, like, that's how they fund the game. It's either you have yeah. copious microtransactions, or a bloody large startup prize. You know, the way I see it, it's like, uh, if you want to play the new Call of Duty right now, right, which is a AAA video game, and it's just come out and it's majorly buggy, for that matter, uh, you basically have to pay 60 or 70 quid default, 60 or 70 pound, right? Um, mm. Now, for DU, for a year of DU, you, that's about, I think it comes around about 65 pound roughly, or 60 or 65 pound. So you're basically paying for, you know, what you pay for a AAA game. Now, the average AAA game comes out one to three times a year, maybe? You get a couple, you get, think of it if it was on normal track. This, at the end of this year, you'd have Call of Duty, uh, you'd have a new Halo, which, okay, the price might be different, but let's just, for argument's sake. So for all you get in DU, for £60 a year, it's not bad really when you think about it. I think yeah. people only react to the subscription price because it's monthly. I think when you have to pay, even if it's cheaper, when you have to pay more of something, the price appears bigger. Hmm, because I think... Then again, I also... I, then again, I pay my rent at six month blocks and I can tell you the arguments are redundant. Yeah, plus I've also kind of noticed, I think um, you've noticed too, I might say, um, that it attracts a lot of players like that know what these type of games are like we've seen quite a lot of eve online players mm. come over to du because they and, know what playing a or paying a subscription is like yeah and it also deters those kind of immature kind of players who just want to like mess around and stuff mm. um obviously you still get those but it's heavily reduced then you're gonna get you more i think Dad's gonna agree because we've had a discussion before because of the subscription model, you're going to get more dedicated people who are going to stick around. And also, at the minute the game is in its beta, which means it's off-putting some people. So, yeah. Oh, God. Someone's just I'm crashed it. Yeah. Taylor's trying to fly the ship off. If, uh, uh, look, I don't know how, but you've you've somehow made a ship look like a tractor. I've got a combine harvester, and I'll give you the key. <laughs> oh, God. I mean, it's, it's supposed to look like a dragon's face. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, like if you look at the paint job with the red and the I see, I see what you gray mean, for actually. the jaw. Yeah. yeah. I'm not it's, saying it's well designed, and I'm not saying it works. Seems like obviously very... he's having some issues with it. However, we've also noticed that the autoplay is having issues just in general. Mm. The autoplay, you say? The auto land, I think. Oh, okay. That's probably explain why I could choke the land earlier. Yeah, I'm going um, to blame on that, I guess. This might get out of jail for your card. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Darius, do you know what Finn's building over here, by the way? Uh, Sorry, I what was that? Do you know what Finn's building over here? Uh, this is like a giant dynamic core here, now. Giant core? Yeah. Where, where, where is here? Turn around. I don't even see you. Hello, over here. Long way. Up oh, there we go. There you go. See this guy? Oh, uh, yes. Yes, is this is supposed to be... He wants to create a... Think CIS era destroyer, oh, like but he wants to flesh it out, kind of like they fleshed out the Nebulon B frigate, where there's actual bulk to it. But oh, he wants okay. to create some sort of like trade yacht, so that he can easily go between the different locations. So he basically and... wants to be the Cavaniers from um, Solaris. Yes, I think. Um... Greetings. We'll show you some words. Fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He, he wants to create a space uh, Jawa. No. Mm, I think he's, sand crawler. <laughs> he's, been, yeah, he's been working quite hard on the designs. He sent Why me a couple of them. just shout fuck as if he's crashed? Um, probably because. Uh oh. <laughs> I saw them took off Is and now I said fuck. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Just see a distress. 
Set wrap. Dun dun dun. Oh lord. Kiritus! Are you okay? <laughs> do do you need a rescue? Yeah, we I'm very Should we sound the alarm? Quickly. <laughs> I'm very badly burned. All hands, uh, scramble I, I, action stations. I have, I have scrap. I can come and save you. Oh, I can save your soul. Ooh. I don't know about that, but anyway. Hello, <laughs> Darby. Right. Jack, can you explain no. how the RDBA ranking system works? So that's a good question, actually. In regards to ranking, uh, we've not really done a ranking structure right now because, I don't know, there's no need for one right now. Some may disagree with me. However, because we're still in the foundation stage, I don't think we need one. The only ranks we currently have in the org, technically at the minute, is Division Head uh, and Subdivision Head. Those are your two key ranks, but obviously mine being Super Legate and Grand Admiral, etc. That is technically my rank, is Grand Admiral. Division Heads are then Admirals. Um, I'd say the ones above me, which are my Commanders, aka Legates, those are Fleet Admirals. Then obviously you've got Division Heads, Admirals, and then you've got Subdivision Heads, which I guess could be Beer Admiral if you really want to do that, etc. Um, so that's how that goes out. In terms of ranking structure, I will probably do it more militaristic in a way, where we'll have like, you know, Captain, Lieutenant, Ensign, or like Crewman, etc. Stuff like that. Um, but it's something to think about at a later date. I don't think um, it needs it right now. But yeah. Mm. Just, you know, I'm Grand Admiral, so remember that. That's the best way to do it. <laughs> Basically, top mode or bottom? <laughs> kind of, yeah. But at a later date, we'll have it. I really want to get like a patch in it. Could you show us the factory? Yeah, I can show you the factory. It's going to be very loud, though. So this is Factory Bravo. This has been our main factory for quite a while now. Uh, we do have another one station somewhere, and we want to have like satellite stations um, set up. This here. I'll show you the access thing down here. So this is a private access thing for only certain people can access, and this is the inner workings of it. And my boy, we need to get some spotlights down here. So you may think, ah, oh, Factory Floors is pretty default. If I hop down, you're going to see all of it. Look at this. It's mental <laughs> in here. I'm jumping over to Darius's ex office as well. Which is someone Just conveniently can't. barred the screens oh. from not naming names. <laughs> There's tons of machines down here. We've even got these big uh, assembly lines. These ones over here. Honestly, this, this one is mental. It is mental. Mm, I think. Um, oh, yeah, once. Um, I think Omega is pretty much. So it's so loud down here. Okay. <laughs> Once Omega is pretty much like presentable, uh, I think we should definitely um, do a tour of that if you're right with that. Yeah, Darius. definitely. I mean, me and Darius really need to sit oh. down and do uh, the Factory Bravo tour at some point. We're just going to have to mute the uh, audio for that video, I think, like game wise, because you're not going to be able to hear a fucking thing. Yeah. You may need I mean, to. I can run around and I can turn off all the machines. I think I, I might as well just mute the audio track, and I? It's yeah, probably but... easier. Yeah. <laughs> So this is the inside of Bravo as well. We've not really done much with the top area this minute. We have the space to expand Bravo upwards if need be. And to be honest, you know, we could always do it in the future. You know, have more production lines going upwards. So yeah, as the minute we've kind of got some access containers down here. Kraz is using it as a base to build a shuttle. How he whispered the noise me, I don't know. We've also got a couple of our voxel libraries set up here. Voxel libraries are advanced ways of building certain blocks and stuff like this. I'll explain this in probably a more dedicated video at some point, uh, which I need to explain. But yeah, we've also got letters up here as well, so you can copy these. And we've also got the Redwood logo you just see there as well, and lights, which is really nice. Sweden Man still lives strong. And we've also got screens here, which Owen's telling me he set these up, so you can tell what the factory currently stocks. Not very much of certain things. We definitely need some coal, and we definitely need some pyrite, apparently. I can't remember what that's got, but yeah. Sulfur! Uh, Sulfur, very good. Sulfur! Hi guys, how are you doing? Um, just remember who's in charge, and you get exactly. Uh, is it me as Jack Quiet? Oh yeah, my audio is uh, messing up today because um, I keep leaning back as well. I'm basically reconfiguring my mic, um, so I need to adjust the settings. So yes, when you say remember who's in charge, you mean our Lord and Savior JC, right? Yes. Pretty much. <laughs> There's that, um, what is it, whenever you type JC on the official Discord, it like brings up an image of him, and it's just like, yes, my child, and I'm like, I just love that. It's the Jesus meme. It is, I'm like, yes, my child, I'm like, I fucking love it. JC is such a great guy to talk to. Like, of all the game developers I've spoken to, um, I've spoken to many over like my you know tenure of work in the industry, and it's like JC is really nice because you can tell how passionate he is about his game, and most people are. But I mm -hmm. love how like he, like me, he loves seeing what the players come up with. I mean, one thing I like doing is I like in when I run servers and events and such uh, and write stories. I love seeing you know players reacting to like emergent gameplay and stories and stuff like that. JC is also one of those people that when the artifact thing came out, although it was very small in for, in fact that only a limited number of players could access it, he loved the fact this emergent gameplay was coming true from it. Particularly where you know a couple of organizations decided to blockade a planet. 
Like, that wasn't planned by NQ. They didn't plan organization blockading. That type of gameplay is what they want. They want organizations to come together uh, and do that and, you know, blockade planets. Yes, okay, it may be a bit unfair on the gameplay, but I think we we can all agree here that factions doing that, organizations doing that, it's fantastic, really. In fact, they came yeah. together to do it. It's great. Like, that is the type of gameplay you want in this game. In fact, when players can do it themselves, it's great. If the devs can just give them, you know, a little bit of thing to get the ball rolling, no harm in that. Because mm, I think also, like, um, it also allows things, like, it was advertised. Because I remember, like, all, all the advertisements and, like, the film stuff you have going, um, like, earlier on in the alpha, uh, when you saw, basically, people waging wars and stuff like that. It also can lead on to that. And most of those wars, like... Most of those wars that I've noticed won't probably be out of spite. It will be out of just two people wanting to basically do it as a game. I but also think they... you'll see some wars out of spite here. Like, you know, I think... Yeah. I mean, um, Darius had a good conversation with that a month ago, I think, didn't we? Where it was like, um, you know, wars and stuff will come to this game when, you know, people break diplomatic treaties or it'll come down to not much like companies and stuff like that. And, you know, natural nations. If I say, oh, if I slag off ODY, just for example, they're going to go, well, F you. And you know, suddenly, you know, tensions have risen, diplomatic mm. things are frayed, and wars are going to break out and stuff like that. Yeah. And also to secure resources as well. That's going to be something a later date, I think, I imagine. Because mm. resources at the minute are very widely accessible, yet it's already being reported that some plants are seeing the dried, or, you know, resources drying up. So at a later yeah. day, an orc, if they're up to something, they're going to need, say, you know, Pyrite, I'm using it as an example. You know, uh, they're going to need that. And if it's non mineable, then they're going to have to go to war to secure that resource to further their own advantage. Therefore, that's mm. where wars and combat and more immersion gameplay is going, com going to come true. I think so too. Um, cause especially because they've now demonstrated that organizations are capable of blockading a resource. Exactly. Uh, I, I, well, I hope is probably a word, but I, it would be interesting to see like a sort of phantom menace sort of situation. If somebody like blockades basically <laughs> somebody's base or like HQ, then something could come out of that. Potentially, that yeah. would be pretty. That would, well, it would. Like territory warfare is going to be something interesting, but it's going to take some time to balance it. For we, we won't see territory warfare for quite a while. I should preface it now. Honestly, I don't think we'll see that for the next year or two. I personally feel like that's going to take a while, and there's no, you know, no shame in it. If it takes longer, it takes longer. They have to get that right in a way because it's going to become a big thing. As soon as territory warfare comes into the game, that means like your constructs on other planets are now vulnerable. However, the way they plan to apparently introduce it is a bit like Planet Side Two. Have you two played that who in the voice of me? Yes. Darius, you play Planet Side 2? Uh, I think I played it a while ago. It's the game where but you yes. have like three armies fighting together, a big massive battle. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, so the way JC described it sounds a bit like that in a way, where to capture territory, you have to have control the adjacent territory next to it. So if you think of it hexagons in a way, a bit like DU's currently is, if I want to capture, say, uh, RWI's capital hexagon, it's surrounded by five, I have to basically make my way through the outer hexagons to get to the center one to secure the mm. land, if that makes sense. So, you know, that's how territory warfare is going to go, which is good because it means someone can't just come in and dive bomb, you know, the center of your city straight away and that's it, game over. Because, yeah, as realistic and technically it is, it wouldn't be very fun, you know? It wouldn't be... Mm. It also doesn't work in, in a way, but I think there's lots of discussions to be had over, you know, how total comes in. But this is the yeah. brilliance of Dewey Universe. You know, I said this the other day, uh, when I'm called someone, I don't know if I said it on live stream. You know, I've been playing Space Engineers for seven years now. I remember picking it up the first day it came on the Steam Workshop, all the way back in 2013, uh, and playing it since then when only Creative was around, then Survival came into it, then we had multiplayer updates, and then we had different things. And if you look where SE is now, it is a massively different game to when we started seven years ago. Dual Universe has only gone into public beta in the last four months. Not even that, I think, four months. So, we're in four months now. Where are we going to be in a year? Where are we going to be in five years? This is the type of game which will hopefully endure for many years to come. And if we're still over here in five years talking about it and playing it and enjoying it, the game is going to be very different. Mark my words. I'll happily bet money but it'll be a very different game. And for good reason as well. Not so different mm. that people are going to forget what it is, but different to a point where, you know, it'll have expanded and grown differently. And that is the beauty about sandbox games like this. I don't know what you guys think about that, but... Yeah, because I think also, um, just because it has got that aspect of... Um, it's just gone into survival. But also, what I see is really good is that the devs have basically catered to, like, an audience. A specific audience, or, or but also trying to make it broad. But also, that audience, but basically with the organizations, if they know that they're not doing, they're doing it or not, 
are basically making the game adaptable to all types of audiences because as things progress um more organizations once they build up their infrastructure will basically say hey we've got these ships but we need pilots or we need gunners and that then caters to the audience of look i don't really want to grind out but i do want to like pilot something mm -hmm. um so i think that also then brings a lot of pull into the game through that and i think that's a really hard thing to achieve and i think that's going to be the case when it comes to maybe in about six months time when people are and main orgs are firmly established we're already seeing like you know orgs being you know merged etc and doing various things and there's plenty of stuff going on inside the game which is great because you know there's a lot of possibilities here do you and there's a lot of stuff to be done with it. And I think that's what's appealing to people like me. People who want to come and build an organization, work with their communities and make good, um, you know, good things for people to play with. I mean, like I say, we've had many conversations about this. I know me and Darius talking about it strongly. What was it, a couple of weeks ago now, weren't we? Two or three weeks ago, yep. Yeah, it's like the possibilities are unlimited for, in a manner of speaking. Mm. So there's a lot of potential yeah. there. It's One of the things that they've come out with, NQ, and they, they said that I really, at first, I thought it was kind of cheesy, but I've actually come around to, is they have said that they are providing the tools and it is up to the players to provide the content. Mm. Now, normally that means, oh, well, they're just not making quests. They're not making storyline. They're not making lore. But when you think about it, they're providing all the tools we need to create our own storylines, our love. own mission systems, our own diplomatic anti antagonizations. Mm. We are forming our own version of Star Wars history, basically. Which, personally, as you know, for me, I love writing RP stories. Like that. I find that fantastic exactly. because this is what I want, to play in a universe where your lore can come down to it. And one of the things JC said to me back in 2016-17 when I first interviewed him, he said to me, like, you know, uh, if you join the game in the first year, so we're in the first year now, technically, for beta, because it's public, you know, um, basically, like, RWI HQ, we're building the foundations. But say if someone joins us in a year's time, they're going to be playing of Redwood, for example, you know, when we're already built. They're going to see, like, Icarus City or a mega base, etc., and stuff like that, or Watchtower Station, as it's fully built. To them, it would be, oh, cool, Space Station. To us, though, that'll be, like, a year's legacy already of building stuff there. It's like Nova Cork are giving people the tools to play stuff with. A prime example is a recent artifact thing. They put in a little bit of stuff there and this puzzle, and players solved it. Players came together to solve it. And then that emergent gameplay came about of blockading planets there. That is them giving us the tools and then players working with it. Which is really interesting, I find. I, I love it, which is honestly fantastic. Um, mm. And what's another example I was going to use? Yeah, so a questing system is coming to the game at some point. No idea on when. I think it's next year. I'm not sure if it's this year. Um, but with that, you know, Nova Corp are going to implement some quests. But it's also up to players to do some as well and set them as organizations, etc. And various things. Also, the org wallet is coming soon, which is fantastic. Mm. Oh, and some more newer stuff. We can change the colour of lights with Lua. I think that's coming in November, December, hopefully. Yeah. Because I think also that allows for basically um, contracting. Mm. Uh, like more cleaner contracts. So I know you can build contracts now, but it's very wavy. It's and it's very... the economy a bit more. Mm. And it's very easy. So like if, for example, we wanted to build a new capital ship, but, we, but our designer is currently busy with like fighters or whatever, we can then commission like ODY or something um, to basically design a capital ship um, and then we can might be able to get like a contract or like quote unquote mission in a way mm. uh, and then that would basically once it's been completed um, they can then have safe transfer of money and it would be like a mutual exchange um, and it would allow for a much more cleaner process and thus it would kind of lead on to like either alliances being formed or maybe like alliance has been broken it'll be very it's very dynamic i think that's basically I if i would just agree. um do in like basically one word it would probably be dynamic like things can change in the blink of an eye but also with that it changes not just your organization but the entire game as a whole it's for a ship in a shape of the logo oh, i don't think it is because that'd be weird the RGBI logo is very much a bit like a Starfleet badge in a way, which I find quite fun. I can't wait to get it on a patch so like we can actually buy some. Mm, that'd be pretty. Jesus oh my Jesus! Skim the factory there. I can't. Uh, skim the HQ. Yeah, I was gonna say take off the ceiling. Yeah, Jesus. It's a close shave. Sponsored by Gillette. The closest yeah. shave yet. <laughs> oh, 
It's so close, I've taken my face off. God damn it, man. <laughs> oh boy. Another yeah, wonderful God. day in the world of Ah Yeah. Yeah. Thank God the um It's now too close. Get the previous Juliet. Turns out we could get any closer. Juliet, the closest man can get. Yeah, basically. I was watching my ship up in air now. Chat, if you have any questions for us about DU, we're welcome to answer now. We probably won't be going for much longer, so I need to rest my throat before it wears out. Um, which is not a good sign. So I've got a ton of recording to do. Mm. Um. I can't wait to have like more landing pads being built here and like, be even shut shivered we're done. I think at some point we'll probably have to pick up the HQ and actually put it um, onto a large core. Yeah, definitely. Um, I am going to be, after we're done here, I'm going to go and pick up some more large cores. Oh, I've already gotten one order. So. Awesome source. Are you got them uh, go? Are you getting from the market? I'm getting them from one of the markets on Alioth. Okay, good. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go gonna stop pick by, pick them up, bring back half here, and take half over. Yeah, you know, I've got that storage go. closet in um, HQ. Yes. If you want to pop them in there, that'd be good. Okay. Uh, oh, I think it's doable. I mean, you could make a ship in a ship below. Jesus Christ, I just saw that fly over in the top there. Um, you could do it, I guess, but yeah. Uh, do you fear that it may be too ambitious and too reliant on players? Um, you know what? You could say it can concern that it's too reliant on players. That's why I think NQS is trying to kickstart things in certain directions, like adding a questing system, but placing some you know, player-made quests in there. Oh, sorry, some um, game dev-made questions already. That would be make sense, but you know, I think everything has to be reliant on players to a degree. And I don't think it's too ambitious. There's nothing wrong with being very ambitious. It's just whether they can execute it in the right style. You don't want a feature creep. Um, and I don't think it has that. There's a lot to come, but as long as they stick to their roadmap and their guidelines, I think it'll be fine. <clears throat> so, yeah. It's very interesting. Yeah, there's definitely being... Also, a good call is definitely putting the roadmap literally on the main screen. That needs updating because it's heavily out of date now. Is it? Yes, it is. We, uh, JC was saying like a month ago that he's updating. Oh, Lord. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, I feel like, goes. I, I said this before, I do feel like NQ could improve on communication a little bit. The communication is there, however, at the minute, JC is doing a lot of interviews with streamers like myself. Uh, he was on with Two Angry Gamers yesterday. And it's good and all, but little bits of information are coming out of these streams. However, there's no like general center of all this information. And I do not have the time to go around and watch like every two hour stream, if that makes sense, as much as I'd love to. I, I simply don't have the time to do that. So mm. like, I was watching another stream, his interview with Spreezy, who I think is with DSi, and um, it was revealed, you know, JC showed off some prototype images for the new system, which is going to come at some point next year. That's cool and all, but nowhere of NQ actually officially put that out. And yeah, okay, that is the CEO just showing stuff off. But I feel like once it's been shown off on one stream, it should then be like shown off everywhere, like make a quick blog post about it or a quick YouTube video. Yeah. I feel like that could be there a bit better. I mean, yeah, I know it's still the first couple of months of beta, so I will hold off, but I just feel like communication could be a little bit more improved, if that makes sense. I may be alone in that statement, but yeah. Mm. Communication is an ever-evolving thing. Exactly. They're Every not... time something new gets updated or put in, a new level of communication is needed. And a lot of, uh, of the smaller scale organizations that are not AAA studios have a problem with it at first, but it's always a good hallmark mm. that you see the problems earlier and you see them start to fix it. And I've noticed a distinct improvement throughout the entire development of this game in its beta form. Bit by bit, they've just gotten better. They've gotten more staff. They've talked more. They've actually interacted with mm -hmm. the game itself more. Yeah, because and... I, think, I think they sent out also, they're sending out a um, survey that's still going through right now, which is... Uh... They're trying to understand why if like people have been... Um... You know, they played DU and then they've left it. Uh, you know, why they've left it in a way, which is a good thing. It's good to do that research in a way because it's really important. Like, why are people left DU right now and not returning to it? To understanding mm. that is future, but I also feel like they need to focus on the current players as well in a way, not worry about people leaving it just yet. So yeah, from a business point of view, you should worry about it. But I, I don't know. I feel like we need to stabilize the game currently. It's, it's stable, but you know, what I mean, so stabilize and secure things, make sure PvP is working, then worry about bringing people back. Because there's no point trying to bring them back now, because technically, the experience is technically still the same as it was day one, just a little bit less laggier and buggier. Yeah. I feel like, you know, trying to um, trying to bring players back oh. now would be a bad idea. Did you just crash? Not me. I, I just saw the dragon's mouth take a nosedive. Oh, is it still flying, or? 
Uh, it was flying. <laughs> oh, I see. Uh, yeah. Kiritos, are you okay, buddy? Red alert. <laughs> a blockade would be a very large clan that would require 24-7 attention. Yeah, uh, kind of. Various ways it can be done. It doesn't have to be very large, either. It doesn't need to be. It just helps. Uh, plan A, thank you for $2 of a donation. Oh, we ship survived them. Alright, chat, we're gonna end off the stream here as I can feel my throat getting worse, unfortunately. Uh, so I need to go rest it before I'm dead tomorrow. Uh, I'm probably not gonna be streaming tomorrow night on TC because my focus is any worse. The next couple of days are gonna be very interesting. We've had videos I have to record. Oh my god. Wish luck. I, I have a feeling our auxiliary presenters for the other two channels are gonna get a bit of work this week. To be fair, I, I did record a video at like 1 a.m. last night. Oh, Jesus. I don't want I, I can just feel something in the back of my phone, which is not a good sign. Mm, yeah, pretty get I think there might be something going around. Back, yeah. I've not been outside, the fuck? <laughs> God. I, you stay inside and now you get ill as well. I can't win. <laughs> uh, Alright, everyone, thank you very much for watching the stream. We do hope you appreciate it. Next week, I'll be back providing some live uh, with Space Engineers server battle, so look out for that. Uh, Jack, you sound so sad when you said, yeah, I know. Uh, if it was a giant explosion over there, it would be fantastic, but no, it's it not. An organization should make a what drive? What? Warp drives, you mean? Uh, well, the organizers probably do have warp drives. All right, everyone, thank you very much for watching. So if you want to come and join the discussion even further, you can head over to our Discord server. It's discord.gg slash Captain Jack. Uh, keep it up there. We've got uh, some more things about Jewel Universe. If you're applying to the organization currently, uh, then your application should hopefully be accepted within the next week before you at least be interviewed and talked to you about it. So keep an eye out your DMs, our internal admins, and recruitment officers. We'll be talking to you very soon. Uh, thank you, Darius, and time for joining me this evening. I hope you had fun. Yes, oh, yeah. sir. We've uh, recovered a deadless, which looks fantastic, so I'm sure we'll have some more adventures of that in the future. Huzzah! It's very nice. Indeed. Alright everyone, thank you very much for watching, we'll see you very soon. Goodbye!